Listen, I cannot wipe the smile off my face after today. What? Just what a game. What a lovely way to spend some time out in London, honestly. To see Arsenal playing fantasy football. This was fantasy football. A team of sharpshooters absolutely just killing it. I'm telling you, like, the energy in the stadium, 60,000 people, just, I don't know if you can hear them, but this is, I just want to explain it. The matched energy of 60,000 people in this ground that's all walking out, just absolutely brilliant. I can't explain how good this feels. Absolutely buzzing. And today is one of those that's going <laughs> to... It's, look at this, it's just everyone, everyone is buzzing. Come on, you got it! Let's go! Chelsea, get back to everyone! It's a carnival in here today, honestly, I just can't explain it. I can't remember the last time I left the stadium and it felt this good. Um, it's just like, today will live longer than memory, I'm telling you. One of my favourite um, Arsenal games, honestly, one of my favourite Arsenal games, because it was, it, you know, there's some times where you can't just quite put it into words. There was something special about today. There was something absolutely special about today. And just what a day, honestly. There were so many tickets on the ticket exchange. And for the people that weren't expecting to get a ticket, because it's very, very hard to get tickets at the Arsenal this season. For those people that weren't expecting to get a ticket and managed to get a ticket today and came, what, what a game to choose. Listen, Arsenal, if you're watching this, charge me again. I'll, I'll pay double for today. Sometimes, back in the back in the bad days, I'll be talking after games and saying, we flipping deserve a refund, especially those long away games. You're going to get battered. Charge me double. Honestly, I don't care. Today is why you come to football, because I'm buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. And also... Smash that like button for the top of the league. I can't even remember if I said it at the start of the video. Smash that like button if Arsenal are top of the league. Two games more played than Man City. And yes, they've got six points if they win both of them and they'll go ahead of us. But if they draw just one of those games, we're sitting pretty at the top of the league. We've done what we needed to do to give us a chance. And do you know what? It's games like today. Games like today. Even, look, even if the inevitable happens and Man City win the league, this team did us proud today because it's hard. Even whether you're leading the league or not, at this stage of the season, it's not easy. And we smashed Chelsea today. We showed today we are by far, far superior. So listen, anyone affiliated with Chelsea, it's just time to accept Arsenal's the way forward. Your colour is red, okay? And you need to realise that your colour is red. Ditch that blue and come over to the Arsenal because we're the best team we're the best team in London. It's simple as that. And yes, I will be smug, I will be arrogant today, because I cannot explain how superior we were. Look, I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be very Actually no, I'm not. I'm not gonna be gracious in defeat at all. Chelsea are awful and it was beautiful to watch. They do not care one bit. It's like today was an advertisement for shopping on Wish or Timu. That's where Chelsea have done their business. The players that stepped out on the pitch today, awful. But 1 0, when Arsenal 1 0 up in the second half, I said to the guy next to me, if we want it to, this could get silly. And it got silly. It could have been more than five. Martinelli had like one very, very good chance. And um, I, I really, really, really wanted six to avenge that awful, awful defeat that, you know, that, um, you know, obviously like hurt me at the time a lot. And today went a long way in avenging that defeat. It was just beautiful today. It really, really was. And I cannot express just how awful Chelsea are. They were I mean, uh, it's just lovely. It's just absolutely beautiful to watch Chelsea, a team who, do you know what? What's really, really telling is like, Man United are our next great club. 
But the fact that they're awful this season, people are at least talking about it. People are at least saying, like, Man United, crisis, this, that, the other, managers under pressure. No one is even talking about how bad Chelsea are. Because it's just a return to normality for them. It's not even a thing. Chelsea are rubbish? Yeah, that's been the majority of my life. So, I just think it's so telling. You know you're a big team when, in moments of crisis, everyone is talking about you. And no one is talking about Chelsea. 5-0 battering today? No one cares. Chelsea get battered wherever they go? No one cares. Because it's just Chelsea. Anyway. No one care about Chelsea because <laughs> Chelsea are shit. Come on. Come on, Arsenal. Listen, I'm telling you, honestly, today just feels so, so good. And, yeah, I'm just, I can't wipe the smile off my face. I'm going to be sleeping with a big smile on my face. I'm going to wake up with a big smile on my face. Um, and God help any Chelsea fan that I bump into tomorrow or, or any time soon because, man, it's, uh, yeah, I, I, I hate this club. I hate Chelsea. You, you know that. You've been watching me for a few years. You know just how much I hate them. And I was saying before uh, today in my, recent, um, in my recent interviews and stuff that we've got a tough run in. And there's a lot of teams. We've got Tottenham, Chelsea, Man United to play. And I said each one of these teams will absolutely love to ruin our season and to, to sort of like kill it, kill it dead. Chelsea would have loved it today. Don't get me wrong. They should have been up for it. And they would have, they, they, they were up for it. They're just awful and we were just that good. And the fact of the matter is, you know, scoring early in the way that we did, Leo Trossard, I could kiss you, mate. I could kiss you, Leo. You are just... You're the best. You're the best Leo in world football. That's how I feel today, okay? You're the best left-footed Leo in world football. It's just um, the way he pops up is like a... He's just, he's just brilliant. The way he just pops up and, and does what you need, finds that finish all the time. I've been singing his praises all season in terms of his instinctive finishing. Just brilliant. And I don't know, like, you know, I have to admit, you know, you do start to dream. You do start sort of start to fantasise now that we've put ourselves clear at the top of the league. You know, it's all we can do. And I know Man City are still massive, massive favourites, but I can't help but dream. And it excites the hell out of me. Just the, the potential. Look, can Man City drop just, just like a couple of points? I'm not even asking for them to lose. Can they just draw one game? And if they do, look, we're doing what we need to do. And we're hitting form at the right time. Kai Havertz. Let's talk about Kai Havertz today, honestly. How lovely was it to see him scoring against these lot? I, listen, Cole Palmer. Someone send this video to Cole Palmer. Look at Kai Havertz. Look at what he's doing at Arsenal. Imagine your levels if you joined a proper team. Cole Palmer's been brilliant in that absolute shower this season. Imagine if he joined a proper team. And uh, got to speak, I've spoken about Trostar, I've spoken about um, uh, Kai Havertz, Declan Rice. I mean, Declan Rice, is he, he was just unbelievable today, as he is all the time. De Declan Rice has probably put in more man of the match performances without getting man of the match than anyone this season because he just does it week in, week out. I feel like he sets the level so high that for him to be man of the match, he's got to, I don't know, probably score like 30 yard overhead kick or something because today he probably won't get man of the match because of how good Ben White was, for example, as well. But, but don't sleep on Declan Rice's input today because he was so, so good. But let's talk about Ben White. You know what? There needs to be a documentary released, a player cam documentary of Ben White against Mark Kukurea because I don't condone bullying, but this is Premier League football and that was embarrassing for Kukurea. Absolutely embarrassing. Ben White treated him like a ragdoll. Absolute ragdoll. And he got his two goals. Yeah, he didn't mean the second. Who gives, who gives a toss? When it's going your way, it's going your way. Everything clicked for Arsenal today. And, um, and I haven't even spoken about Martin Erdegaard, who, again, was just brilliant. Brilliant distribution of the ball. Saliba, Gabriel at the back, absolutely dominant. Uh, listen, I don't know. I don't know what else I can say today. I'm absolutely buzzing. I'm sure you can feel that. Um, even being like, just watching me, I'm going to remember today for a long time um, because I have to say, 
one of my favourite, favourite, cheers man, one of my favourite, favourite games, especially this season, but honestly, for, for, for a long, long time, up the Arsenal.